I'm Jennifer Sness, you're watching News 24 Live. Up and coming musician Kirsten Clare is joining me in studio. Now she's had huge success with her single Shatterproof and she's here to tell us all about that. Hello. Hi. Now when you get a song from someone who's written it, how do you work with that song to make it yours? Well, the song that we got originally um, is a bit different to this one. Basically, mm -hmm. you take it and you get a feel for it and get the emotion behind it and then kind of put your little play onto it. So we, we changed it up quite a bit. We speeded the tempo up a little bit and speeded, sped the tempo <laughs> up. That's okay. And speeded it. Um, yeah, so we sped it up a little bit and um, just made it a bit more me, put a bit of rock in there, a little bit of a Jesse J vocal. So that was kind of the inspiration. Cool. Now, it has had huge success. Did yeah, you expect that? Um, no. Yeah. You don't always expect it. The thing is with the music industry, like you, you kind of always hope and you work hard. Of course hard. you always hope. Yeah, right? and you work really hard for it to do this. And I was very shocked, to be perfectly honest, because um, when I was back in Joburg and we recorded it and we put it out and Highfold phoned me and they were like, we love it. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I kind of went from like chilling on the couch and like writing and you know doing my own thing to people going we want to meet you now and I'm like oh okay so it kind of it came out of years of hard work but when it hits yeah. it, it it's weird it's very weird because it's kind of like a lot of hard work's finally paying off so yeah it's proud very How proud exciting mm. now tell us about Shatterproof for the people out there who haven't heard it or heard you speak about it what does the song kind of bring up for you it's kind of, I found it very easy to relate to because mm -hmm. it's kind of about, I'm a very emotive person and I've got a huge heart, so I tend to overfeel when I feel things. I'm passionate, I'm a muser, I mean. Mm -hmm. you know. Of course. So when I feel something, I tend to feel it like 150 million percent. Yeah. <laughs> so that can often get you hurt. You know, you put 110 percent into something and then kind of forget to guard yourself and then when you get let down, it hurts a lot more than the average person. Yeah. So I think it's just about like with anything in life, with relationships, with anything, just to remember that your heart's not shatterproof. So like guard your heart and go at things, but just be careful. So that's, that's kind of what it's about. <laughs> now, Shatterproof was released in late January this yeah. year. When can we expect another single? End of May. Oh, that's exciting. Can you give yes. us a sneak peek? What's it all about? Um, it's kind of like a more of a ballad, a little bit slower. Um, and it's kind of more of a wintry song. I wanted to give a nice song for the beginning of winter. So when I get back to Joburg, I'm going into studio to start working on that. That's awesome. Yeah. You say it's like a ballad. What's your favorite yeah. type of song to, to do? I don't know. It depends on the atmosphere, I think, because like when I'm live at like a O'Hagan's or a Hogshead or something like that with a live band, like I love doing like Cranberries type stuff, like zombie covers mm -hmm. and more rock stuff. But I love being like on a stage with an orchestra doing a big ballad, like in a dull, you know, that type of thing as well. So I, I don't, I don't know, but I like strong vocals. That's awesome. Now, how did you get into music? Oh, such a difficult question. I don't know, it just kind of happened. Mm. Um, it's all I've wanted to do really. So I just decided one day when I was really young that uh, this is what I wanted to do. How old so were you? I started singing when I was about three or four. Mm -hmm. And then as I was probably about 10, 11, I started taking it more seriously. And then I did as much as I could. I got my essay colors for it and I went to New York to represent South Africa because I got chosen as part of the team, which is really cool. So I did a lot of like kiddie music experiences mm -hmm. like when I was younger. And then when I finished school, I decided I was supposed to go to varsity and then I was like, we have some questions to ask you yes. to get to know you better because you've never been in our studio before. Sure. So I'm just going to fire. Ready? Mm -hmm. What's the last concert you went to? Uh, I think Eminem. No, I'm lying. The script. Okay, did you yes. like it? It was amazing. Who? Amazing. Did they play with anyone else? Uh, I can't remember who the, I think the opening act was Philip Phillips. Okay. Yeah, and he was really good too, but I, I think, I think, yeah. But Could the script been. was amazing. They were very good. <laughs> what SA musician do you want to collaborate with? Hmm, another difficult one. I think the top ones at the moment would probably either be Love Prime Circle, mm -hmm. Um, love Mikasa to jam to, they're amazing. Um, and Matthew Mole, I really like Matthew Mole. So, so three people, okay. Yeah. There's so <laughs> much bets. talent in this country actually, yeah. so I guess it just depends what type of like genre you want to do, because you could do a club track with a DJ or, I think we've got a lot of talent, so I don't know, anybody who would want to get involved, I would probably take the opportunity. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, what do you do when you're not making music? Um, 
Fun fact, I'm actually a makeup artist. Oh, cool. As well. <laughs> yeah. So that, um, and then just typical young person stuff, like gym, drinking coffee, playing with my five dogs. Five dogs? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What I kind of dogs, dogs are they? Um, I've got, uh, it's actually six dogs, that's embarrassing. Um, I've got two um, American Indian dogs, which are like Husky Cross Wolf, which are really cool. Uh, two I need to ask you about that. Yes. Are, are they very social? Because you often no. hear that the no. dogs that are crossed with wolf are very They're not, not they're social. quite timid. Um, and they take like a while for you to actually get on their trust. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a bit odd, but they're amazing. Once they love you, they're like teddy bears. They're amazing. And they're huge. They're like this big <laughs> and they're so cool though. And then we have two basset hounds, which are the noisiest dogs in the world, but they're lovely. <laughs> and um, we've got a miniature Maltese, and then we've got my little boy, who I have no idea what he is, because I rescued him, I found him on the side of the road, and then wow. he's like my soulmate and a dog. So <laughs> I don't know what he is. He's like mix Yorkie and Scotty. I don't, he's very cute though. Oh, he sounds very cute. I've got pictures on, him on my Instagram. How so on earth do you take care cute. of six dogs? I don't know, it's just with this industry, like it's, it's not a nine to five job. Yeah. So I do get to be home quite a bit because I work a lot from home on my social media and stuff. So being home, it's just kind of manageable. And they all, they, they're like a little pack. So they play together a lot, mm. which, is, which is pretty cool. I want six dogs. <laughs> you can come visit if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what international artist do you want to perform with? Ed Sheeran. Oh, what a good answer. I love Ed Sheeran. All right, what music genre would you like to explore? Mm, I think probably probably more of a jazzy side. Mm. I'd like to do something like that, like a blues jazz, Amy Winehouse type feel. And you have the voice for it. Thank you. <laughs> what genre will you never explore? Probably heavy metal. Okay, I was going to say rap. No, I would go there. Okay. <laughs> I would so go there. I'd probably suck <laughs> so badly, but I would try. <laughs> I love rap. I'm such a hip-hop girl inside. So heavy metal, you uh, wouldn't go there? Just Yeah, just because like I think... Like the screaming. Yeah, I think it's a bit much. Mm, like, much. I love ACDC. I think they're incredible. Mm -hmm. But I think I would just get very tired after screaming my lungs out for about four <laughs> minutes at a time. I just... It's not my vibe. No, not really. Just before yes. we wrap up, tell us how we can yes. find you online, find out where you're going to be playing next, and when your next single drops. Okay, I've got Facebook, Twitter, um, my songs on iTunes, which is cool. Um, my Facebook is Kirsten Clare with a hyphen in the middle, and then Twitter is underscore Kirsten Clare, one word, underscore. And then, um, yeah, you can find out all my recent activity and all my upcoming gigs and promotions and everything I'm doing on my Facebook page. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs>